in Kentucky. Just got into the state, just crossed the border. And this is the welcome center and rest area. This is so cute. Look at this place. Wow, this is so cute. Cause this is totally cool. Yeah, way too cute. I have to pop out the other side and see what it looks like because I think I'm coming in the back. Yeah, really the rocking chairs. This is really cool. Okay, I'm liking the rocking chair. I'm liking hanging out in Kentucky. These are nice. Oh me. Isn't that gorgeous? Here's the front of this house. So I'm gonna walk around the front. So let's see the front of this place. That is a very old tree. So there it is, the Kentucky Welcome Center and Rest Area, which is like my old marker too. As soon as you come into the state of Kentucky, um, on I-24. Here is, looks like an old stable. That looks like it's a, a greenhouse, but there's nothing in it. I love greenhouses. I had a greenhouse in San Diego. This is a neat place. It says, please observe a moment of silence in memory of the loved ones who lost their lives on Kentucky highways in years past. So let's go have a look at Kentucky and see what Kentucky looks like, right? Because it's absolutely gorgeous. The perfect time of day. It's 96 degrees here. We have 297,776 on the odometer. That's a lot. We're coming up on 300,000. So, oh, Jay and I are gonna get our steel rings from Conway. We have to give them our ring size and that I'm gonna make sure get, gets done this week. We have our star on the truck. If you haven't seen it, go and check Star Belly Sneeches on our channel. You'll get to see our first star. We went to Joplin and got the star put on the truck. It's so cool. Um, before I take off, something I just read about uh, taking a moment of silence to remember the people in Kentucky who've passed away on uh, Kentucky interstate. It's a very serious business and paying attention is just critically important. So please do it, please. I've had people tell me that they can't give space because there's too much traffic, yada yada. You can, you can too, you can give space. I watch cars this far off of a truck bumper or off of the bumper of the car in front of them. It's stupid. Okay, don't be stupid. You're not stupid. So don't be stupid in your car. Okay? <laughs> There's my rant for the day. Let's end stupidity on our nation's highways. It can be done. It really can. Let's pay attention. Let's go see what Kentucky is up to. I wonder if this is Kentucky bluegrass. Is this bluegrass? That looks green, but it could be blue. We want to go east all the way to Georgia today, but we will visit Nashville on the way. Come on, come on, little Chevy. Pay attention. <laughs> oh, I have to send a shout out to Erica. And we haven't talked in probably, oh my goodness, what, 10 years, 15? Um, Erica just sent me a note on Facebook. Hello, Erica! It's so good to see you, girl. I am so, so glad that you got in touch with me. It's just delicious, delicious. I love you, girl.
I have a couple of minutes of light left and I'm going to tell you a story on this trip that I haven't told. It was about a month and a half ago. I was in Alamogordo, New Mexico. We were on US 59. Now, all up and down this US highway, there are these signs that say, um, inspection station ahead. And this sign is about the size of a, of a speed limit sign. It's not big. So you get up to the place where it says there's an inspection station, but there's nothing there. It's just nothing. It's like a little turnout. I thought that it was like a way station once existed, but it doesn't exist anymore. And you see those all over the country, places where they had a, a way station or some kind of inspection station and it's shut down. So on this particular day, um, I came up to the sign and it said inspection station and at the bottom was this little sign tacked on, it said open. And then there was about maybe a quarter of a mile, another sign that said inspection station ahead. So I'm watching ahead of me like a half mile to see what the trucks are doing. And none of the trucks are pulling in. So I'm thinking, okay, it's, it's another one of those vacant way stations. So as I come close to this, I'm, I see a car that stopped. It's facing us and it has on its lights. So, and this is a two lane highway, so it's head to head. And um, as I get closer, I slow down. So I'm doing like 50, just less than 50 actually. And when I pass the car, all of a sudden this cop jumps out and waves his hand like this and tells me to get over. So I stop on the shoulder, he whips around, comes up, parks behind me. And I sit there for like a while, and Jay was up at the time because this was right after one of our switchovers. And um, so I get out the passenger side, I walk back, and he screams at me to get back in the truck. I didn't say anything, didn't argue, just came back up the truck. Um, a few minutes later, he comes up on the traffic side, opens the door and he's screaming at me that I passed an inspection station and what do I think I'm doing and yada yada and I said I said officer I watched the trucks in front of me and there no truck stopped he said I waved them by and I'm like well I thought there was no wait station here I thought it was a broken down car and he is still screaming and I just said can we calm down and he kind of did. And he says, I want your medical card and your license and your registration and all the stuff and your bills. So I give him that stuff and he goes back to his car and he says, okay, before he goes, he goes, I'm, go uh, I'm gonna wave you back, just watch. So we sit here for like 15 minutes in the truck. Finally, he waves to come back I go back and he gives me a ticket for failure to stop at an inspection station for $157. And I, can, I have two choices. I can make a court date to come back and fight it, or I can pay it online for my convenience. And oh, by the way, I gave you a DOT inspection and you passed with flying colors. So give this to your company. It'll be good for your CSA score yada yada <laughs> I was kind of peeved about that for a few weeks I was really peeved actually because there was no question it was total setup in fact yesterday Jay and I were at a fuel stop um, somewhere in Nebraska and the guy next to us in an RV happened to be the, re the retired uh, chief of police for the city of Los Angeles and I told him this story and he said those kinds of police officers give all law enforcement a bad name so there you go the chief of police without any prompting from me after hearing this story said it was trap no question about it and that is how Alamogordo 
raises funds. <laughs> so there it is. <laughs> okay, I am running out of light, it looks like. And I have 85 miles to go until my next turn, which is I-40, heading for Chattanooga, Tennessee. <laughs>